Welcome to the lovely recording of the Champion Motorsports iRacing Tim Endurance Series second race here at Spa. Spa's a tough track, and Rob and I are obviously not up to the challenge. I put the car on grid in P20 with a 219, which is a good four seconds off the pole position, which was a, a 215.6 something. Um, ridiculous. Um, Rob Cottle, my partner, um, is sitting here engineering for me, and uh, I'm going to drive the first stint and probably two stints, but we're going to reserve judgment on that until we see how I do. Um, should be fun. How you doing, Rob? Good, Chip. Uh, the track temperature is actually 79 at reset. So Reminder to GT3 Weird. drivers, you do not go when the green lights come on. You go when you get the acceleration zone and the pole sitter has gone and you'll probably need to say that a couple more times in my ear, Rob, just to make sure I don't run over this ugly yeah. freaking Ferrari in front of me. Yeah. The nice, the good news is, is that if anybody goes behind you, there's only one row of cars to run into us. Well, that's nice. Yeah. Silver lining. Yeah. <laughs> I like silver linings. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I wonder what it was with that with that track temperature it showed at first. It was like one hundred three. Yeah, I saw that too. It was like what the. Yeah, and then as soon as as soon as the grid popped up, it changed back to seventy nine. So we should be good. I think the thing that's funniest about that is you and I are probably the only two yahoos out here that practiced on a track that was hotter than that. Car number seventy one. Yeah, completely by accident. <laughs> All right. It's what you call prescience. That's right. I meant to do that. Exactly right. All right. All right. Sounds like cars are moving. Should be going. So, um, just keep keep watch over everyone in front of you. What they're doing. We're far enough back that if we if we get jumped on the start, it's kind of not that big of a deal, to be honest with you. Yeah. If yeah. Exactly. I can screw up pretty bad and not have a really bad consequence here. But we there are some cars car blinking out, 71. though. Okay, Chip. Um, Stay calm. Focus. One of the cars behind you... Uh, oh, no, I guess he's okay. It's, one of, it's that BMW, that red BMW that we were racing around. He's blinked out a few times. Okay. Don't go, don't go. Someone's going into the pit lane already. I'm not sure why. So close up on the yellow and green Ferrari. Go, go, go. Hey, no one's going yet. No one's yep. going. Okay, they're gonna go around. You're gonna see the, you're gonna see the stripe right after you come around the corner. Okay. It, everyone's going, everyone's going. No, they're not. <laughs> oh, they are now. Okay, watch your traffic. Okay, car behind you is in your draft. He's coming, making a move on your left, outside. No, he's not. You're, you're good, though. Yeah, you close the door, you're good. Remember, cold tires and brakes give yourself plenty of room to slow down. Uh, did that car blink out in front of you? No. Hmm. It was actually two up from you. Orange zone is in effect, so I'm not going to even attempt to pass just yet. Good idea. Because this Ferrari is slow. Well, and he's a three and a half K driver behind you, so he's not going to be slow for very long. At least I'm not thinking he will be. Holy crap. He's uh, coming up on you here. He's looking to your outside. He's still there. He's staying back. His tires are greasy as fuck. Yeah, I bet.
Yeah, there's a car like four cars up from you that keeps blinking out. It's that red beamer that stole our paint scheme. Okay. Guy behind you's got to run on you. He's looking to your inside. He's staying behind you, though. Everyone's behaving themselves, which is nice. Unusual. No one's forcing the issue. Ace, in your draft now. Yep. That was all over the place. Well, stayed on the track. That's what counts. Case okay, got it. He's in your draft. Yep. He's coming by on the right side. Looking on. He's on the inside. He's this. He's there. There's a slow car in front of him. The orange. I know. I let him by. I'm yeah, I know you did. I'm not gonna fight him. It's not worth it. Not at this point. The orange Lambo that's in front of him that he's passing has had some trouble. For some reason, he was really slow and got passed by like three cars going into the last turn. So I'm not sure what is going on. the second time she's tried to step out on me on entry there. Yeah, I was noticing that when I was running first two laps. It was really twitchy going through that. You seem to be faster than the orange Lambo in front of you. It's not saying a lot, really. But yeah, thank you. Look, I don't want any of your negative bullshit. Just drive the car. Oh. <laughs> I do the cheerleading, you do the driving. Capiche? Capiche. <laughs> you can whisper sweet nothings in my ear when it's your turn. <laughs> yeah, pull out in my line there, buddy. That's a smart way to race. At least Jim didn't say, you're last. <laughs> That's true. Because technically you're not. No, there's actually five cars in the pits right now. I'm not quite sure what the deal is. Another 1x. Shit. A little touchy-touchy up in front of us. Yeah, you got a little bit of... Bumping and grinding. And the Lambo seems to think he's fast now, so... But he's a little all over the place. You're probably noticing that, following him. A little bit. Yeah, the two the two guys in front are not getting away. The Porsche in front of the Lambos struggling. You got lots of time, so just take your time, 
set them up. But don't take any unnecessary risk. Phil. Okay. The orange Lambo's making a move on the Porsche in front of you. Looks like he's going to finish it. Yeah. Yeah, he's got him. Orange Lambo went way wide. Watch him. There you go. Good job. Thank you. It was nice that he was um, circumspect enough to not try and jump right back on the track in front of you and be a roadblock. Oh, dude. Yeah, yeah. He's real slow. Lambo's making a move on you. He's right on you. He's trying to. Boy, he's he's trying to make up for lost time. That Porsche fucking almost killed us both. Yeah, I know. Yeah, the guy in front of you is struggling. You were half a second faster than the Porsche on the last lap. Come on, dude. Get better. He's a fucking hazard. And that's saying It'll, something. Lambo's not trying to look on your inside and he backed off. Good thing. That was not a smart move. Lambo's still stalking you. I can't believe that for that Porsche in front of me. He, the way he stuffed us up. D20. Yeah, he he jammed you both up. He almost created a. He got a guy on the inside. Got him. Just give him a room. He, he wants it real bad. But now you got him again. He cl you cleared him. Lambo's got to run on you too. He's looking on the inside. Nice move, Shit. nice move. Damn it. Uh, it's alright. Watch them That's rejoining. You'll need to slow down to get back the time gained. Alright, you're going to catch back you up with these guys. That Porsche is going to be a problem. The Lambo got by him though. He must have really jammed it in there. Okay, you got the leader, P LMP2 leader coming up on you. Come by on your left. Thank you. The next guy's two and a half seconds back. Blue flag. Here super, he comes. super frustrating. That's all right, just gather back up. Here comes the number two car inside. Wow, he just... He, would, he didn't even act like he was going to size you up. He just threw it in there. And you got P3 cars coming up on you, too. Pretty much all the LMP2 traffic now. Here he comes, right side. Another one coming. There's going to be a string of them here for a bit. Left yep. side. Got him. Faster cars behind. One more coming. Here he comes. Left side. 
Here comes another one. Another one on your left. There's an incident in. Oh, you got a spinning LMP2 car. Well done. Blue flag. Another one coming up on you. The guy, the spinner is coming up on you. Boy, he almost hit you. Jesus. He did touch you there, didn't he? He did, 4X. What a dick. That was not necessary. Hey, you got another one closing on you. Left side. Not able to close up on that Porsche at all. It's Why is he parking it on that Apex? Okay, LMP2 cars behind you, two of them. Inside, inside. Comes the other one, inside. Go, 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 Daddy. Yeah, you got a, you, you got another one. Mac and cheese cars behind you. He's come looking on your outside. Fucking okay. A. Oh, clear. Traffic's fucking terrible. Assholes. Yeah, it's not good. Okay, you got another guy coming up on you. It's a faster class car behind. Blue flag. Left side. Okay, you got a little bit of a gap for a few corners to the next LMP2 car. Everyone else is going to get the same same thing you got, so. Blue flag. Hey, LMP2 guy coming up on you. He's got to run. Sure, I'm starting to catch up with the damn Porsche. He's looking on your inside. There he is. The chicane. You're going to have another LMP2 catching you coming out of the bus stop. What the mother fuck? Yeah, he just like stopped. LMP2 on your right. There's a faster car approaching. Now there are a couple LMP2 cars. One, one's going to catch you going down to Rouge. Yeah, that was a zero X contact on our nose. Yeah. Okay, you got an LMP2 guy looking on your right. That's fucking stupid. Yeah, that that was a bad place for him to pass. That was absolutely stupid. Incident in Lacoon. Looks like it's Ortiz. Uh, I don't see where the car stopped. Keep your wits about you, mate. There he is. Come on, Come on chopper view. Oh, that's the Beamer. Hey, you got another LMP2 coming up on you. You're gonna get by this guy. Left side, left side. Okay, you don't have any uh, LMP2 traffic behind you for a bit. This guy has got like a middle of the track mindset. Yeah, I don't know why he's driving so defensively. You know, he's clearly slower. Set him up for a uh, set him up for a pass going down into the bus stop. You, you're right. You're gonna get a nice draft off him. He's fast in weird places. Yeah, I think he's got the car trimmed out pretty well, but you're, you're eating him up in the corners. He's definitely slow in the corners. P-28 
20. Good job. Good Pick rep. a line, any line, asshole. Yeah, he is, he is, uh, making that car pretty wide for somebody who's running as far back as he is. Okay, he should have a run on him now. He's and trimmed up really well. Yeah, he is. I'm not making but, up any ground on him. No, you're closing a little bit. But I'm not going to do it by brake. Yeah, not enough. So the only way I'm going to get this guy is by throwing it in somewhere I don't really want to throw it in. Well, he's going to make a mistake, too. He's struggling in the corners. He's fast in a straight line, but he struggles. He's having a hard time getting the car to turn in and stick. That'll give him a one X. Yeah, but that doesn't help me. Oh wow, Alex Gall was black flagged. Unavoidable contact maybe? Maybe. Yeah, he's trying hard to hold you up. He's doing a good job, but you got a good run on him now. Oh, come on. He wrecked. The gap yeah. behind has now decreased to 3.7 seconds. I don't feel bad at all about that, but I don't know what the stewards will say. He wasn't giving me any room. I was off track. I mean, I he pushed me off track. Yeah. There's a faster class car approaching. Sorry about that. No worries. Hey, you got an LMP2 coming up on you. Okay, thanks. Blue flag. Here he comes. Left side. an incident in Radion. We think it might be Ortiz. Hey, you're clear behind you for a while. Sector 1 is 0.8. Off the pace. So that beamer that went off earlier he must have pitted or something, or he went off or something. He he was six seconds back. He's now 13. The gap's now 9.8. They're slower than us into Lacoon. to make hay before I get the black flag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're giving out a bunch of them. Weird, I don't see Alex Gall's car. He must have done, well, there, no, there he is. He's, he's just doing his outlap. He fell back to 13th place. What, did they make him take the car apart? What the? No, but I, I mean, if you think about it, a black flag costs you, even if it's a drive through it's going to cost you a minute. It takes 52 seconds just to drive through pit lane. There's an incident in Eau Rouge. Incident in the chicane. It looks like Ortiz. 
Waters behind is pitting. Well, the guy you just had uh, contact with is a lap down and in front of you. Great. Right, seven and a half seconds. So. Great. You're gonna you're gonna meet each other again because you're you're running them down pretty quick. Gaining on the car in front. The gap's now 9.6 seconds. They're pretty slow into Lake Coombe. There's an incident in. Brooks out. Uh, someone's Lake around. Like caution. There's two cars around. Careful. Thank you. Oh, there's. Fortunately, that was one of the guy. That's one of the guys that you. Uh, that you. Uh, the guy you got in contact with. And I think the other guy. He must have, uh, I don't know if somebody spun and wrecked him or whether he was the initiating party. I, I didn't see it happen. We're running P15 at the moment. Thank you. There is a fast repair. We should probably save that one. Yeah, I'm thinking we probably need to save it. I feel like I'm driving like a dolt. Well, you ran your fastest lap last lap, so. I mean, a lot of those, you got 9x, but seven of those weren't your fault. There's an incident in Eau Rouge. The gap in front has increased. It's now about 10 seconds. You will have an LMP2 joining the party fairly soon. Turn. Okay, Chip. There's a faster car approaching. The LMP2 is two seconds back and closing. Blue flag. feel myself clinching. <laughs> You're making diamond tuck upholstery in your seat. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Come on. Damn it, another one. Just settle down. You're you're uh, you're holding on too tight. Just take a deep breath. We got a long ways to go, my friend. True and fast. Hey, you got the leader. And there's a lot of di a lot of difference in the P2 class because the P2 leader is coming up on you, and the guy that just passed you was the P4 P2 car. Wow. So the leader in P2 has already lapped the whole field except four, which is insane. Okay, here he comes. Oh, go on your left. E2 car is six seconds back and closing. I like Daytona better. There's a faster car approaching. <laughs> They all have their, their pros and cons, don't they? Yeah. This is a stressful track to drive. Yeah, it, it really is. The gap in front is now 11 seconds. Okay, you got the P2 car. He 
He's closing on you fast. If he wasn't, there'd be something wrong, right? That's true. Hey, he's right on you. Taking the inside. Good job. Okay, you got another LMP2 car, four seconds back and closing. He'll probably get you coming out of turn nine. Not quite, he's still second and a half back. Inside. All right, Chip, there's a faster class car approaching. It's a second I lost just dealing with hey, traffic. Flag. Yeah, another one coming. You're now gonna get a wave of them. Ryan, you on your inside. Good job. You're clear. Here comes Leif Peterson. On your left. Okay, you're going to have a little bit of a, a break. A brief respite. Laps to your pit. Thank you. Okay, LMP2 is coming up on you. He'll probably catch you going into Oru. It's just the best possible spot to get caught. You put them away. The gap behind is now 15 seconds. Blue flag. Here he comes. Left side. Right. Yep. So far, I haven't had uh, handed deck or handed uh, dyslexia today, but there's it's still early. Right. <laughs> there's a faster car approaching. Okay, you're gonna have a pair of them coming up on you. They're they're running about a second and a half apart. So it's just that. We're going to go through that cycle again where you're just catching all the LMP2 traffic. Yep. Or they're catching you. Inevitable. Yeah. Blue flag. Yeah, if they're not catching you, they have no business being in a P2 car. Hey, here he comes. Ah, oh, no! Oh, 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 oh. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, you... Careful getting on, you got an LMP2 car behind you, joining the track. Okay, you got 10 seconds back to GT car, so you should be good. Shit. Gather yeah, it up. Just step out on you. I'm not really sure what happened there. It just looked like a lazy turn, or lazy spin. There's a faster car approaching. Blue flag. Okay, you have another LMP2 car closing. Got it. Going to your inside. Good job. Okay, you got another pair of LMP2 cars. Three and five, three and four seconds back. They're going to be nose to tail, so they're going to freak train by you. They're going to want to probably go by as a pair. They're fighting for position. Blue flag. There's a group of faster cars bearing down on you. There they come. Inside, inside. There's going to be another one. Stay left. Good, you're clear. You got another one. It's gonna catch you going down camel. It's sketchy as hell. What happened to him? Oh, he was coming out of the pits, that's why. Um, 
Actually, you don't have an LMP2 for a bit. The gap behind is now 4.9. Pass the car behind. Yeah, you got an LMP2 car coming up on you. Here he comes. Left side. That's what's fucking me up. That's what actually caused me my uh, spin before, as I was uh, accommodating the LMP2 on the inside, and it was modulating the throttle. And it's just it's slick as cat snot out there. Yeah. Sector two is one point three. There's no rubber. Off the pace. You've got half your fuel left. Because I was doing yeah. the same thing just there. I don't trust these cats coming through super fast wanting that line, so... Yeah. He got 4.2 back to the next GT car and 5 seconds back to the next LMP2 car. And then ten to a pair okay, behind Jed, him. Faster class car approaching. So you're, you are going to get some more. The car behind is pitting. Incident. On P2 oh, traffic. And the GT car that was behind you has pitted. I okay. wonder if people are trying that pit strategy that you and I were entertaining. Maybe. Because we're suddenly up into eighth. Okay, you have an LMP2 car closing. He's going to catch you going down Camel. Blue flag. Pick your side and stay there. Yep. Here he comes. Inside, inside. Clear. Okay, there's two more LMP2 cars about five seconds back, so be a couple corners further on you. approaching blue flag hey yeah, the first one's coming up on you got him in my favorite goddamn spot yeah you have a knack inside uh, uh, he's looking there he goes hey next guy's coming he's a couple seconds back blue flag He's there, he's looking on your inside. Here he comes. Hey, you're clear for a bit. Let go of the seat cushion and just drive. Seeing us an 18th, not 8th. Well, my um, my race lab app is telling us that we're in. Yeah, that's weird because it has me on the black box. It has its way back, so I don't know what's going on with race lab. Maybe you're not looking at all the cars. No, I've got them. I've got all 22 turned on. I don't know what it's doing.
They've been handing out lots of black flags. We haven't seen ours. Well, you remember we were halfway through the race at Daytona before they handed out the start back black flag, so... <laughs> That's true. Yeah, who knows? I might serve your black flag. <laughs> it's possible. Now I can't hit that fucking apex. That's crazy. I've been deviating from it for so long, I can't not do a drive it the right way. Let's get back in your groove. How Stella lost his groove. Oh, well, get it back, Stella. I have to send you to the Bahamas. I've already got 12x on our head right now. I'm so sorry. That's all right. Just don't make it 13. There's an incident in the chicane. This track is so crazy. It's it's tough. There's a lot of pit. There's a whole pit cycle going on with um, the LMP2 cars right now. So you're going to see a lot of um, traffic. Yeah, I don't know what my race lab app is doing. It's lost its goddamn mind. It thinks we're in eighth. We are definitely not in eighth. Yeah. I mean, that's a happy thought and everything, but yeah, that's. We're not even yeah. close. It's yeah, I know. And just for the record, you wouldn't know what a happy thought was, so don't don't tell me what a happy thought is. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Um, nothing. <laughs> You're one of my favorite race car drivers, is what I was going to say before you interrupted me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you have a LMP2 car closing on you. Big purple car. Barney the purple LMP2 car. Right side, here he goes. Clear. Okay, you're gonna have another LMP2 in a little bit. He's six seconds back. I keep going into the green and then encountering traffic. It's frustrating. Well, that's just the nature of multi-class racing. Okay, Chip. There's a faster car approaching. A prototype is uh, closing on you. Thank you. Here he comes. Are you going to look to your inside? Here he comes. Yep. Inside. Hey, yeah, my telemetry shows you have a little, you have a bit of a gap. It's actually not showing anybody behind you at the moment, but I know that that's just what it does. There's an incident in. And, and Race Labs thinks we're in fifth. Wildly optimistic. Well, I'm completely fucking wrong. Maybe it's prescient. Maybe that's where we're gonna finish. Well, maybe. 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 Maybe Race Labs believes in QAnon. I don't know. Um, yeah, something's something's jacked. I'm showing ten more laps. Uh, I'm showing 11.6, but we could 10 or 11 right in there. You know, this isn't a track we want to uh, gamble. You're a long ways from home if you run out of gas. Hey, you got a pair of LMP2 cars that are they're farther back in the LMP2. They're the 13, P13, P14. 
They're about three seconds apart. So the first one's going to catch you here in just after this corner complex. Blue flag. There's a group of faster cars behind. Hey, here he comes. You got him? Yep, I see him. Boy, he waited a long time to make a move to the inside. I was gonna hit you. Next one's coming. Blue flag. On your left. Good job. There's an incident in the chicane. Oh, and then he spins. He came in too hot. Yeah, he locked the rears. Blew my lap. Had a good lap going. Yeah, he did have a good lap going. Oh well. Into every lap. Life a little rain must fall? No. Is that the same? What's the same? Yeah. Into every life a little rain must fall, or in every lap a little traffic must fuck things up. How's Outside? That? Seriously, you fucking. That was a dumb move. I mean, he had to have gotten a 1X for that, it's like, why? You're gonna go waste a 1X on a GT car with two and a half hours to go? Well, here's the deal with that, is that he's got downforce, I don't, so I'm gonna yeah. go outside. He could, he could go on the inside. Yeah. He has that as an option. Got another one coming up on you. See that? Macaroni and cheese in your, in your rear view mirror. Okay. Next car back is LMP2 car about 15 seconds back. This series is extremely humbling. Like when you think you have it dialed in, you're feeling pretty good about yourself and practice, and you come out here and just like get shown how much you don't know. It's crazy. Yeah. It's a wonderful way to deal with runaway self-esteem. It's a shitty way to spend a Sunday morning, considering how early I had to get up. But now, don't say that, Chip. We're having fun. You know what would be fun? What's winning. That? Winning. Yeah, that, that's true. Well, how many how many of these guys are we racing against? Um, have full time jobs. <laughs> that was probably most of them. I don't know. But yeah, but I mean, are you are you I mean, trying to pull out that I make more money than you defense here? <laughs> no, I'm just saying we have other priorities. Seconds. True. Um, I didn't start iRacing until I was in my 50s, so, you know, as badly as I want to be fast and, you know, and believe the Walter Mitty that lives inside of me thinks he's a, a champion, the reality is is that it's, I'm not the best at this, so, but it's it's a hell of a lot of fun. Beats the shit out of sitting in the conference room. LMP2 car behind you. I often thought that you were... Uh... Outside. Another one. That was really poorly handled, but yeah. Um, I uh, often thought that you were Walter Mitty wearing a Rob suit, so that actually makes sense. Well, yeah, I mean, I love a good escapist thing. That's why I like racing simulators, flight simulators, shoot 'em up games, you know. You know. You're playing that Tom yeah. Clancy thing, right? The Division, yeah. Have you played that? I have not. It's awesome. What's, uh, it's, what's the premise? Uh, it's similar to what reality is like right now. There's a there's a pandemic that um, destroys society, and so there's groups of bad guys that are trying to take advantage, and the division are the 
kind of the special forces guys that are still trying to keep some semblance of order together. Um, but, you know, you, you wander around New York and, you, you know, you find weapons and things to upgrade your weapons and you run into different scenarios. And it's actually a pretty interesting story. Is It has a storyline to it, um, you know, and you're chasing progressively worse bad guys and more challenging scenarios. It's, it's addictive. I like it. Okay, another LMP2 car. Okay, on your outside more than likely. And then there's another one right behind him. Here he comes, left side. The other guy's not going to get you before the corner. He is going to be there coming out though. Let him have your inside. <laughs> Easy, Chip. Freezy. For those of you watching at home, Chip, although he, he appears to be a mature adult man, is a 13-year-old boy living in an old man's body. Hey, watch it with the old man stuff. Uh, well, older than your sense of humor is. <laughs> I'll just put it that. I think I'm older than you, so I can't really throw, throw stones. Well, you can, but not in that sense. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> a and little biology humor there. That's funny. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, and uh, if you're if you're far away, I probably can't hit you. <laughs> I can't I can't throw it from center plate to home field like I could when I was twelve. You got a 15 second lead to the next GT3 car. Mr. Zabelski. And uh, we're about 30 seconds down to the next GT3 car. Uh, we do have some more LMP2 traffic. Looks like there's going to be three of them that are running within a couple seconds of each other. They're about 13 seconds back. Since tires get changed last, do you want to manage the setup there to not do tires automatically and we'll look at what the percentages are? Okay. So you don't feel yeah. that bad. Okay. Well I will right now they're not they're not clicked to replace, so um you have you have five laps to go. Um Because if we're going to be slow anyway... 17th place. Keep it neat and tidy. We still might get something yep. out of this. Sector 3 is 1.1 seconds off the pace. Because even as I'm losing fuel, I'm mm -hmm. I'm not speeding up any. The gap behind is now 17 seconds. And I'm trying. I, I know you're trying. I haven't... I haven't been putting anything out there on Discord, seeking out another teammate, if you're wondering. <laughs> I, I, my country for a 219, I, I, I can't believe I haven't hit the 219s yet. Well, the track being warm is part of it. This, this track is, a, is tricky. Okay, you're going to have four LMP2 cars in succession. Here comes the first one. And then after this guy, there's three running in a in a line. Blue flag. There's a group of faster cars behind you. They're racing for position. Hey. Next one's coming up on you. And then there's going to be two right behind him, so they're just going to go boom, boom, boom. They're all nose to tail, basically. Left side, outside. Blue flag. Other guys, they're both looking on your out. Give them the outside. They all are both coming through. Good job. Okay, and here comes the leader, LMP2 car. Blue flag.
Hey, you're clear. You have the, the P2 prototype car behind him. He's about 10 seconds back. The uh, LMP2 cars ahead were fighting a little bit and they got a little squirrely in the bus stop, but nobody wrecked. As fast the cars approach it, the group includes the class leader. So no black flag so so far. A bar. Although another one X. Damn it. A P two LMP two car is closing on you. He's three seconds back. He'll be making your acquaintance here shortly. Ah. And then there's a... Okay, Jip. There's a faster class Ooh. car approaching. Blue flag. Okay, here he comes. Let's look it on your inside. Now he's... Pick a side, dude. I'll work with you, but you gotta pick a side. Yep. I'm only 2.3 seconds off the base. Ten minutes of fuel remaining. Uh, you've been getting a lot of hit, a lot of traffic. Everybody Can has, get... though. I mean, that's not yeah. an excuse. Everybody's been hitting the same traffic. I'm just slow. Well, just settle in. Hey, you got three laps to go this time by. You have a pair of LMP2 cars coming up on you. They're gonna catch you going down to Eau Rouge. There comes the first one. I'm buying your right side. Second one's a little farther back. He's closing on you, but I don't think he's going to catch you until you get through Eau Rouge. There you go. Here he comes. Outside. Clear. And the next one's seven seconds back. one is joining you soon. Here he comes. Good job. Leif Peterson is eight seconds back. Was my 219 motherfucker. Swear to God. Can't catch a break. Just just joy enjoy the ride. Keep your head down, just keep going. That's all you can do. Alright, Chip. There's a faster class car approaching. 
damn it. All right, you hung on to it. I'm rethinking that whole tire thing. Yeah, I think I think we need tires. We're far enough back that good consistency. Keep it up. You know, we should be driving the car in its optimal condition. So here comes Leaf. And then there's another guy right behind him that'll probably catch you coming out of Eau Rouge. Blue flag. Here he comes, left side. Okay, you have two. Barely held onto that through the exit there of yeah. Eau Rouge. So, two laps to go. Um, I need to step away and use the restroom. I apologize. I'll be right back. You got, you're got clear 10 seconds back to the next GT car for the moment. Be right back. Okay. Thanks, now I have to pee. Hadn't even thought about that until you said that. Well, I wish I could drive okay, the car into the pit for you. <laughs> we can always do a driver change if you want. I could do the middle stint and you could do the last one. No, I'll stay in the car. We'd give up too much in terms of time. Hey. Gonna box this time by. It says we have 2.0 laps, but that's too too close to my opinion. No, I agree. Yeah, um, yeah. If if you took over now, you'd finish the race. So if you want to do that, we could. But I don't need to. You I mean, I'm well, fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I mean, if you're all right. Just... I may get warm in a little while, but. Well, well, the other thing, cold. <laughs> the other thing too is I don't, I don't know how difficult it is to get in and out of your rig, but you know, when you do come into the pits, by the time we take fuel and tires, you're going to have about a, a minute, so minute, yeah, minute. Uh, so it would, it would be too, too close. Do you have a Home Depot bucket in your nearby? No, I do not. Wow, the tires Crash. completely let go under braking just there. I was like four-wheel drifting there for just a second. I felt the whole car just get light. The gap behind increased to 11 seconds. Well, way to hang on to it. Yeah, these tires are pretty... They're, they're talking to me right now. Well, and they're not, and they're not saying nice things. <laughs> yeah, they're mostly uh, insults. Yeah. Pass the car behind. Your mother was a hamster and your father smelt of elderberries. Okay, LMP2 car coming up on you. There he is, okay. You got 10 seconds back to next GT car. Looks like a lot of people in our. Um, Here's my 219. <laughs> of course, I can't cross the line with it. Yeah. Hey. Box, 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 Mr. Chip. The chicane. All right. Windshield tear off. Full fuel. Lane speed limit is 37 miles per hour. Box in 11. 170 feet. We'll need to stop again to get to the end. Jim thinks we're going to need to stop again to get to the end. 
Well, he's, you know, he's a smart guy. Hour and two minutes. That's not bad. 300 feet. No. We are taking tires, feet. right? Yeah. We're going to take our tires. Wait, is our pit stall on the back? Yep. I didn't know that. I didn't either until I saw my guy standing there. So I'm glad I was looking. Yeah, I, I was like, because I was watching you go in and I hadn't clicked tires yet. And I was like, what Chip's, what's Chip doing? <laughs> yeah, we got half a tank in. So you did click tires? Yes, I did. Okay. Yeah, your your right side tires are down in the low seventies. Yeah. Left sides aren't bad, but your rights are gone. Okay, here tires are going on. Okay. Tires are on. Get ready. All right. Pit limiter on. Yep. Never took it off. Good job. I'm just supposed to say that. No, I got you. That's what they taught me at crew chief school. Hmm. Enjoy your Sunday drive down the world's longest pit lane. Right? Jesus. There's a car approaching All right. across the white line. Hey, we've got some GT traffic four seconds there. back. Oh, but think I think else? he came out of pit behind you because he's not gaining on you. Okay, you have clear sailing. Remember, your tires are cold. Yep. And Back I'm up heavy. your brake markers. And I'm heavy. Yeah. You're not only overweight, but you're cold and slippery. Wow, the feeling in the wheel is like so different. With the new tires or the weight? The, both. Okay, Chip, there's a faster car approaching. We are showing as uh, being um, in 15th place. So 16th. We gained... I think we're in 16th. Oh, is it? All right. Well, yeah, we'll see. Oh, yeah, now just click to 16th. Blue flag. Hey, LMP2 gone, yeah. Yeah, man, he was awful impatient there. That was actually not bad. That was actually what I was expecting. Yeah, he could have just given it a one a half a beat before he stuffed it in there. He didn't let you get off the apex. Got another one coming on you. Oh, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> gaming on you. Phrasing! Oh, that was <laughs> David Williams that went by me. Who's he? Um, I, is he the admin guy? Or is That's that David Anderson. David Anderson, okay. There's a faster class car behind. P17. Yeah, P17 is what Jim just told me. Okay. Normally I would say that Jim's full of shit, but you know. In this case, he's probably correct. Woo. And pit lane is just murder, isn't it? Yeah. Now I'm showing this as P17. Is that what you have? Yep. Yep, yep.
32 seconds behind the next GT car and 5.3 five, 5 ahead of the next GT car. And we do have more LMP2 traffic joining us soon. I believe it's the macaroni and cheese car. We like that car. Yeah, the macaroni and powdered, not real cheese, but it is Kraft. I thought Kraft slices were more of slices of polymers than cheese, but here I wonder, he if, I wonder if that made the broadcast. The, the polymers? Well, the mac and cheese. Probably. Well, they'd have to have permission to use the brand. That's true. So it might be in trading paints, but maybe not on the broadcast. Yeah. Hmm. Who knows? So when people watch the broadcast, well, well, they'll be watching my my version of it. So never mind. Yeah. For those of you keeping score at home, there's a car that's painted like a box of Kraft macaroni and cheese. Back to you, Chip. <laughs> Here's Chip with the weather. I keep getting weird audio artifact artifacts. I hope those aren't in the recording. Yeah, I'm not hearing anything different. Like it just cuts out. Like it goes mm. completely silent for a sec. Uh, like, a, like, so a, like an audio micro stutter. Oh, so it's not like a voices in your head kind of thing? No. Oh, okay. But you probably can't hear mine. But if I sound like I'm arguing with a third person in the room, that's what's going on, just so you know. They yeah, always tell people it's the dogs when that, when it happens to me, especially on Zoom calls. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Do you have Tourette's chip? to call behind. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> just, just on the racetrack. <laughs> hey. You have a P2 car closing on you rather urgently. Blue flag. Here he comes. There you go. And you were three tenths faster than the car behind you on the last lap. It looks like the gap to the guy in front of you has been about the same. Here comes another P2 car. I, there's going to be a pair of them. This guy's right here, and then the next one's a few seconds back. It's looking on your inside. There's a faster class car approaching. Hey, you got a pair of them. You got the P6 car coming up on you, and the P1 car is right behind him, trying to put him a lap down. He wants to come right up on you now. He's right there. The car exit in the pits. On your outside. Still like the way Racecraft has us right now. Racecraft has us running in P6, which I like a lot better. You mean Race Lab apps? <laughs> race Labs. What was I saying? Racecraft. Yeah. Uh, like, yeah. It took me a while. To, we were talking about Kraft macaroni and cheese, and then. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, you know. I get it. Words don't own us. Yeah, I, I try not to use my brain on the weekends. I beat the shit out of it all week, so I try to give it a rest on the weekends. Here comes another one. On your inside. Wonder how my insides felt. Well, you feel okay, like Jen. you just had an Next LMP2 violent you? <laughs> Can't say anything to you, Jim. Jesus. 
feel like I'm driving like a bastard. <laughs> I wouldn't put it that way. We're our own worst critics, so. We just got no pace. I don't know, maybe uh, Volker's um, server theory is correct. Oh, I know Get it is P correct. It definitely is correct. The P2 car's coming up on you. Got him. Inside. No, there's definitely something to that. There's an incident in the chicane. It looks like sleep. I wonder if the pro drivers... Um, have any um, requirements or whether they I wonder how they deal with that because that it's would be a big deal cars behind. if you're doing it for money you know yeah yeah P15 okay chip that's good consistency looks like the LMP2 cars are going through a pit cycle there's a couple of them in the pits and you have another P2 car, a couple seconds back, get you coming out of Eau Rouge, going down Camel. Here he comes. Inside. Clear. And you've gapped the uh, next GT3 car back. You were two and a half seconds faster than him last lap. He's now seven seconds behind you. So the struggle is real. It's not just isolated to us. There's a lot of 220s that have been posted on the last lap. Must be hitting traffic. I think it's a combination of everything. Well, a lot of people probably change drivers after the first hour. That's true. Well, and I'm seeing this Will Woodland just got back black flagged. He's a, he's a, a substitute driver. So that kind of leads me to believe that we're not going to get black flagged if they're already on current uh, second stint drivers. Doesn't mean another... the guy can't file an IRR, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Incident in the chicane. There he is. Inside, Fernandez. inside. Inside. I lifted because I was going to yeah. fuck up. If I didn't, I saw him too late. Blue flag. Uh, I, yeah, I should have called it sooner. Sorry. Here comes another one. Uh, he, that was weird. He decided to, he feigned inside, then he shot outside. Yeah. He almost cost me my day there. Yeah, I mean, he's got to be, you know, I realize that you know, the body language of us being overtaken is important, but it's also the the car that's passing you has got to give you the right signals, too, of what their intentions are. Can't read their freaking minds. Yeah, he flashed his lights. Which is like, hey, I'm about to wreck you. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Surprise! That's essentially what that was. Then maybe a little shorter than a full one, right? If you went an hour and two, and yeah. then I go two, 204, then we're only having a, you know, might be a gallon or less. Another LMP2 coming up on you now. Looking to your inside. There he is. Another one behind him. Don't scare me like that. Flag. <laughs> I'd already occupied the space. You're like another one. I'm all like, what? Uh, a little bit back. Next one is Lee Peterson. Four seconds back. Okay, 
Jeff. There's a faster class car approaching. Sector two is leaf now. Four seconds off the pace. Blue flag. Perfect. On your inside. Yeah. Perfect. Well yeah, done, Leaf. Thank you, you sir. Overtake. That's a perfect overtake pass. Take somebody on the, the exit. Take yeah, the inside yeah. on the exit. That's the perfect place to overtake. Yeah. Play to your, play your full advantage. Don't wave to me while I'm driving, babe. Damn it. There's a group of faster cars behind. Blue flag. I don't feel comfortable if you call me, babe. <laughs> Hey, he's on your inside. There he is. Hey, next LMP2 car is four seconds back. Okay. I'd be joining you around turn eight or nine. Sector one is 0 0.6 off the pace. Blue flag. Here he comes. Not quite yet. Slowed up a little bit. Here he comes. Yeah, you got a pair. Or you got the P1 and P2 car about two seconds apart. Oh, the P1 and P2 car are four tenths of a second apart. They're six seconds back. They're going to be nose to tail when they get to you. Probably in a bit of a hurry. Felt good that section there. Oh, you're looking good. Oh, it's the, oh, that's why it, I was like they're not closing on you very fast. It's the P1 and P2 car at GT that oh, are six seconds no. back. There's an incident in the chicane. I don't want to be lapped. I know. None of us do, Chip. None of us do. I mean, you could, you could. Spin and take them both out. 15th place. We wouldn't have our Sundays together anymore, but you know. <laughs> There's an incident in Eau Rouge. We'd start our own uh, race group for wayward drivers. <laughs> the island of misfit toys. <laughs> a lot of cars in the pit right now. A lot of GT cars and a lot of uh, LMP2 cars, but there are some, there are several GT cars that are, have some pretty long pit stops. You're now 10 seconds back to the next GT car and you've closed two seconds on the guy in front of you. The lead GT three car is four and a half seconds back, and one and two are running nose to tail. Maybe they'll take each other out before they get to me. Maybe. They do have a... Yeah, it looks like the LMP2 car cleared them. Next LMP2 car is three and a half seconds back. Closing on you now. Got him. Looking inside. Yeah, bad place, dude. Yeah, not a good place right Just as you're trying to turn in. 
Archie Coveney was black flagged. There been a lot of black flags handed out. GT3 leader just set his the fastest lap of the race for GT3 cars 217.356. Douche. I mean, it's fine to be fast, but don't throw it in people's faces. You know, that's just rude. Yeah. Have some compassion. But like I said, the P1 and P2 car are racing hard nose to tail so even though it will it's murder on your ego you're gonna have to be the the bigger man and not not there's a faster car approaching that's what their stuff oh wow they just gave a stern warning for failure to lock brakes just the 787 car that's the sim racing uh, PR red car yeah, yeah, you're right. Blue flag. Okay, here comes the P2 car on you right now. Got it. It's Archie Coveney. He's the one that got our recent black flag. Yeah, I don't know if he's served it yet. Blue flag. You have another one coming up on you. Second half back. Mac and cheese himself. Then the GT3 leader is second and a half back. All right, Chip. There's a faster car approaching. Good consistency. Keep them coming. Have another LMP2 car. Got it. Outside. Blue flag. Another 1X, sorry. It's all right. I was looking in my mirrors worried about somebody else coming on me and I... Just, just drive. You're that's good. my entry. He's gaining on you, but... Yes, he is. That Lambo is trimmed out. He is fast down the straightaway. He's got about a one second lead over the car behind him. Here he comes. Huh? Inside, inside. Here comes the other car. He's a little bit back, but not far. Blue flag. Sorry, dude. A faster car oh, approaching. Go. Yeah. He he just drove right up on you. Evidently, I'm not hey. driving that corner as fast as I can. That P3 car is behind you. P3 th GT3 car is behind you, followed by two LMP2 cars. So, got a lot of traffic here for next little bit. Here come the GT or er, LMP2 cars are coming through. They're nose to tail. Come by on your left side. Left side. Boy, they almost wrecked each other. And the G P3 GT3 cars on you. There you go. Good job. 
Boy, they wowed down in a hurry. Yeah. Okay, Chip, there's a car exit in the pit. Yeah, you got another P P2 car behind you. There's a group of faster cars bearing down on you. Incident in Eau Rouge. Hey, here he comes. Left side. Smart. Yeah, that was a good pass. Next car back is Leif Peterson. Again, he must have hit it. Yeah, he's the P4 car. Anything. Okay. Hang on, you got another LP2 car coming. Okay. Back up quick, 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 quick. Hold, hold, hold. There you go. Got a whole bunch of traffic. There's just a whole pot of string, so be careful getting back on. Faster okay. cars approaching. Just stay to the right side or left side as you come on. Am I clear? Am I clear? You're clear now. Oh, For no, a second, not, here no, comes not. more. Ah, come on, get on the road. Okay, you got an LMP2 car coming up on you. Blue flag. The car in front is Nelson. Yeah, you're clear now. Didn't touch and, anything. Yeah, you just that was just bad luck. You just had so much traffic. Well, no, I lost the rear end. I... Tires are hot. Yeah, that was all, all me. I just lost the rear end and started sliding. Oh, Well, you're good. Just get back in your groove. 19x. That's half distance. We think about. That's okay. Minutes of fuel left. Uh oh. Yellow flag. I don't see him. I don't see him. Oh, he's like right in the middle of the road. Yeah, we lost yeah. two places and I just got one of them back. Sector 3 yeah. is 2.0 seconds off the pace. Sorry about that, Sorry. man. It's okay. You know, sometimes it's our day and sometimes it's not. I hate this track. I really do. It's challenging. But I don't mind it so much single class. Multi-class, yeah. it just Multi sucks. It's it's tough for multi-class racing. Okay, Chip. There's a faster class car approaching. Yeah, you got smell on P2 traffic. Closing on you. Blue flag. Come up. Here he comes. On your inside. Leader. You have a GT3 car behind you that's a lap down, but he's three seconds back. The race leader is right, is coming up on you now. One second back, P2 car. On your inside. Good job. The 
B2 car a lap down is he's not closing on you. This group includes the class leader. Driving line's looking nice and smooth. You're gapping the guy behind. Car behind's a faster class. That's the and that was lap. your fastest lap. Nice job. Thank you. Hey, you have another P2 car coming up behind you. Second back. Inside. Sector one is 0 0.8 off the pace. just wants to slip out from under me each time I come through there. Yeah, it's a tricky corner. It's... Well, you build That's up lazy. muscle memory on a colder track like we had for practice, and uh, you wind up doing the wrong thing. Yep. What do you think? You're used to the car sticking. Yeah. But I'm right at the edge every time I come in, in, in on entry there. Yeah, I was filming that when I was practicing. The is increasing. It's now 12 seconds.
You're running really consistent laps. Okay, Chip. Lap times are pretty consistent. There's an incident in the chicane. It looks like it's Nelson. That's what Nelson Jim said. Behind is pitting. <laughs> and Jim's copying me. So I saw it first. I really need to work on not feeling like I'm running through the quad naked each time I go through a rouge. Master car behind. It's like one of those things you just you just strip off and run, and uh, it feels really out of control. I'm sure, there's a better way to do that. Probably. LMP2 traffic behind. Closing quick. Thank you. There's going to be two of them. Inside. Second one's joining you, and there's another one behind him, two seconds back. You know, when you say two together, make sure that they're within a half second of each other. Because yeah, if they're these, not, I've got space. And if, in front is now. Yeah, these are two seconds apart. Seconds. Here comes the next one. Car approaching. Incident in the chicane. But you get what I'm saying? Yes. The car ahead's predicting now. Because coming into a corner or two together means something different than what just happened. <laughs> yeah. Because I made space and I didn't need to. Yeah, understood. Inside. A P2 car is one and a half seconds back. Blue flag. Closing now, left side. Next P2 car is five seconds back. Ooh, draft. Nice. Sweet, sweet pull of a nice draft. Wow, that sounds nice. Like a nice Guinness. There's no GT threat behind you anymore. There's a lap car six seconds back, but you're pulling away from him. And you did pass uh, the guy that got by you when you spun. He, he was in the pits last time by. Sector two is zero, one, two, seven, off the pace. Okay, Chip, there's a faster car approaching. Hey, okay, LMP2 traffic, three and a half seconds back. Thank you. Incident in the chicane. Blue flag. There's an incident in Brooks Hill. You think it might be? Here he Elf. comes. And, uh, all right, he's going to go outside. Okay. I, and I apologize, you do have the P7 GT3 car 3.6 seconds back. And there's more LMP2 traffic coming.
There's a faster car approaching. Sector 1 is 0.7 off the pace. Damn it. Blue flag. Too much Here speed. P2 car. Got it. Two of them. Next one's right behind you. It's looking on your inside. That was our buddy Leaf. I trust Leaf. I don't trust many others, but I trust Leaf. Yeah, I agree. Okay, the P7 GT3 car is 1.7 seconds behind you. Not making me feel any better about myself here, Rob. I'm just telling you the truth, man. Uh, it doesn't give me any good delight to you. I mean, when I say you're a nice guy and a great driver, I mean that. I may not be right, but I mean it. Whereas, you know, if I say there's no GT3 traffic behind you, that's just a flat out lie. See what I mean? Yeah, yeah, no, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, you know. Just a second and a half back, just got the blue flag. Yep. Nine laps to go. I'm not blocking him, so I'm not moving over or slowing down. Uh, you're fine. Make him earn it. He's he's not running you down at a ridiculously quick pace. He, he's got a little bit of draft, so he's gaining on you, but through the twisty parts, he's not that much faster than you. a pair of LMP2 cars, the P4 and P5 car, they are running three-tenths of a second apart, which probably constitutes two the together. The cars approaching. They're fighting for position. Blue flag. And they're racing each other. They're side by side. Here they come. I'll just hold your line. Whoa, he hit you. Oh, he hit you bad. No, no you've gone upside down there. Uh, you're on your lid, buddy. Yep, I just told to for repairs. We've had the black and orange flag. Yeah, he, he totally got into you. I mean, he they were coming up on the traffic. You were trying to hold your line. I'm just watching the replay here. So they were they were both going through Blanchemont and he tried to take you on the outside. You were you were just driving straight. He just ran into you. Yeah. Um you wanna jump in the car? Let's fill it up. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and get out of here. So I'm out of the car. Okay, let me put a <sighs> shit. Fuel and tires. And see how bad the repair is. I mean, yeah, could, could be a while. You've got one gallon left. We're down to 21st place now. Oh no, 19th. 
Yeah, I don't think we're recovering from that. That was just fucking stupid. Yeah, he just took you out. I mean, that's impatient. Oh, we get a fast repair, though. Oh, yeah, we do, don't we? Fuck yeah, okay. Yeah, it gave it to us. Okay. I'm gonna... Get a handful of peanuts here. <laughs> All right. A little protein for the rice. Damn it. So sorry, man. I thought that I had uh, that calculated not it right and was in, in the right spot. I was staying, staying to the right and letting them race to my left, and he he killed he me, He didn't man. give you anywhere to go. He he forced the issue, You, not you. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go to the restroom. Okay. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna get you back on track, and then I'm gonna go to the restroom. All right. <sighs> showing us in 15th place, but I know that's not true. It's showing us 18th place in race lab apps right now. All right. We're still up two from where we started, I guess. So it's not a. <laughs> I just lost us like three positions, four positions. You didn't lose us anything. There's a car approaching. Hey, man. Stay behind the white line. I was uh, behind the wheel. Okay, you do have traffic coming up the hill, so they're going to be on you pretty quick. Just stay to the right. All right, Chip. There's a faster class car approaching. Blue flag. LMP2 almost killed you. Porsche on your yeah. left, and now you got some clarity. You can uh, move over. Copy that. Okay, I'll be right back. Go for it. What a douche. You need to come in for this penalty in the next three laps. speed. Engage limiter. Box in. 1170 feet. left to come in and serve this penalty. Thank <laughs> you. 
Watch your mirrors, there's a car approaching. All right, Chip. There's a faster class car approaching. Oh, going? you missed the fun. What happened? So, uh, that 911 like that happened. you got in contact with, uh huh. I caught him coming at him on my outlap, and I totally had a run on him, and he stopped in the corner. Yeah, he did that he, to me a couple of times, too. Totally, he totally blocked me, and then the car behind me ran into me and gave me too many incident points, so I had to do a drive through. Yeah. Class car approaching. Sorry, man. That's all right. I mean, it was it was a dumb move by this guy. It was a, I mean, he he freaking stopped. It was ridiculous. Well, so much for that whole thing of us being out of our uh, depths here. I think there are some drivers where we are, but there's a bunch of boneheads here too. Yeah, there's enough of them. That's for sure. That that hurt. I mean, that cost us over a minute. Yeah. Well, we're still one up from where we started, so. So you only lost one position. Whereas I lost us like four or five or something like that. This race is going to finish in like twilight because the sun's going down. Mm hmm. I know, so I get the sun in my eyes coming through seven. Yeah, and you're going to have a splash and dash at the end. Yeah, no, that's the adding insult to injury. Mm hmm. I was so close to the end of my stint. I mean, I wish to God that hadn't happened. That was just horrible. Okay, you're going to have an LMP2 coming up on you. Yeah, I, I can see him. Blue flag. He is the P2 car. In the P2 class. <laughs> okay, he's looking left. Now he's tucking back in, looking right. There you go. Buddy recognized that I kind of had to drive my line to stay on the track. Mm hmm. Yeah, he exercised a little bit of patience there. That was good. So you got another one coming up on you. He, Jason Lundy, who gave the uh, race oh, guide or flag. driver's meeting talk. He's a pretty clean okay, driver. Yeah. There's a faster car approaching. Right side. He's gone. Sorry if you hear me chewing. I All was right. hungry. I needed a energy bar. Sweet and salty nut. We won't That's comment on that. Like I know we won't comment on that. You teed that up. Sorry, I had to hit that one. I know, man. It was it was it was that ready there. It was top flight. Okay, it looks like the uh, P18 car is 55 seconds up the road from you. Um, the car that's behind us is a lap down from us, so I'm not worried about him at all. It's about a black flag drive through up the road from me. <laughs> <laughs> he's actually, he's two laps down from us. So probably a lap and some, not quite full two. You do have the uh, GT3 uh, leaders coming up on you, it looks like. I 
This has been a day I think I'd want to forget. Yeah, this hasn't been our finest hour. Oh well. It was going pretty Raised well there for a bit. Sector 1 is 4.4 off the pace. There's an incident in Stavlo. It looks like Slee. How's the car feeling? Feels fine. There's an incident in Corp Paul Ferrer. It looks like it's Slee. Blue flag. Ah, you're right, it wants to step out. Yeah, it really does. Incident so, Blanchimont. it looks like Slee. What I actually did to compensate for that was I braked a little early coming in. And it seemed to, to compensate. And I don't trail into that turn at all, so I make sure I have full grip coming into the turn. The car behind. So P1, uh, I idea. car in class is right behind us. Yeah, I got him. 5K driver. So they've got a 5K driver and a 7K driver in that car, right? God, they better be winning. Right? He is fast, fast, fast. Holy crap. He's going to take you next corner. And there's an LMP2 right behind you both. So uh, LMP2 is past him on your left, and he's taken the opportunity. He's on your left as well. Got him. And you got another car that is the P2 car right behind you right now. Oh, that's Alex Gall. No, the number two car is uh, the 7K driver. I'm sorry. Yeah, Alex Gall had to work his way back from that uh, black flag that he got. There's an incident in <clears throat> I'm so glad he recovered. I'd hate for him to lose any points in his I rating. It's a league race. It doesn't count against his I rating. I know. I'm. You're being facetious, I know. I'm just no, being clear. No, that was sarcasm. That wasn't facetious. Okay. Man, he's fast. Holy crap. He's on your left. Yeah, I got him. I was trying to hang on to the damn car going through Eau Rouge. Yeah, he was, like, picking you out of that through that line. I mean, he had so much control of the car through there. I, don't, I just don't understand how that's possible. Yeah. Sector 1 is... 2.1 seconds off the pace. From another planet, the planet Polosek. <laughs> right. So we have moved up a position. Really? KM Racing must have been in the pits. So we passed so we them. Got that. We got that going for us, which is nice. Which is nice. Uh, so yeah, we're uh, we got uh, 69 seconds up the road is P17, and you were faster than him last lap, I thought. But now my head to head's telling me something different. So fast is not how I would describe the laps that I've run right so far. Um, I wasn't gonna say anything, but yeah, I'm noticing no, that. Well, yeah, and I don't know why I'm so slow, to be honest with you. Man, I can't believe we got hit. That just, ugh. I knew it was gonna happen though. I just, I, I, I knew it. Well, the thing was, it was an unnecessary hit. I mean. Did he take himself out or did he keep on going? He kept going. He just dumped you. Joining in front. Okay, Chip. There's a faster class car approaching. There's an incident in Eau Rouge. Sector 3 is 1.3 off the pace. Well, the karmic wheel, it keeps spinning, right? Yeah. Robert Tarbox was black flagged. I don't know if that's the guy that hit us or not. Yeah, I don't know. I, I wasn't looking at the relative when I got hit, so I have no idea who it was that hit me. I was starting to watch the replay when we decided to switch drivers and stuff, so I put it down. Yeah, I just think that that was prudent since we were in the pits anyway. 
No, it was the right thing to do. I just didn't get to finish finding out who it was that wrecked us. Have to watch it on the replay. Your lines look really smooth. On well, the car actually feels reasonably good. I mean, I don't, the way I'm, I feel is I don't feel like I'm driving a 223. That's what I don't understand. There's a faster car approaching. You're pulling away from the guy behind. The gap's now 7.9. Yeah, I just wasn't finding any speed in the car today. I don't know what the deal was, but it just, it, it felt like I was in molasses. I got down into the 219s a couple of times on my uh, my clock timer, but um, wound up having to accommodate somebody at the end of the lap. Blue flag. Yeah. And that, that kills it, man. I mean, you lose a half a second or more uh, anytime you let a car by. Because you're way offline. Yeah. It's probably good that we don't know who it was that dumped us because it'd be hard to hold back contempt as he went by again. That's true. I just might accidentally sort of get in his way. Or accidentally wait until he goes by. And then, you know. Okay, Chip. There's a car hit him. in the pits. Heads up. The car behind Do the pit maneuver. Pass. Aggressively change lanes, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. 17th place. They were rolling P-17 now. You know, something's off, because my, my timer told me I was running a 219 on that lap, and I gave, gave me a 222. Uh, actually, uh, your the timer in the dash is always wrong. I don't know what it is about Blue flag. group races, league races, but my the, that's always wrong. Okay, you got LMP2. He's coming on your left. Wow, yeah, he made that decision. Oh, hi, Chris. That was decisive as hell. Yeah, I was going to say, he didn't lay back, but lay back at all. He's probably the type that was like, you know, smiling, looking out his window, waving as he drove by. It's a nice guy. Yeah, he is. One of the most talented drivers I've ever seen. I mean, it's crazy the stuff that he can do. Yeah, he's amazing. Well, and he can do it in real life, too. Yeah, yeah. And that's he's got really a great attitude me. about it. He wants to share it with everybody. I mean, that's the kind of guy you want to have around, for sure. Oh, yeah. Not just some dick that's got enough money to race that likes to treat everyone like they're not as cool as him. Right. You know, I, I haven't been able to attend any of his recent classrooms, but he's doing those classrooms for the team endurance racing. I figure since we're not doing that series, it, it doesn't make sense to sit in on those, but I, I like his class sessions. He's got such an yeah. interesting way of talking about, you know, the different options that you have and as far as turn-in points, breaking points, and all that kind of stuff. There's a faster class car behind. Yeah, you're right. It's not just about, you know, what he does. It's about what the options are to make the decision about what to do, and that's kind of cool. Yep. So P17 and the next car up the road is 72, 71.2 seconds up the road. Okay, LMP2 coming up on you. So he's going to probably hang with you through the chicane here. And he's choosing your left side. Yeah, I left the door open for him. He did a blinky thank you, so. Blue flag. Paul Darling, what a darling. There's an incident in Eau Rouge. Another LMP2 behind you. He's gonna look to make it before the corner here on your right side. The gap behind is now 4.4 seconds. And we've got the uh, P18 car is four seconds behind us right now. Yeah, he's fine. running faster than me at the moment. I've gotta step it up. LMP2 now behind you. Got him. God damn, is he coming up on me fast? Right side. Sector one is 1.6 seconds off the pace. Yeah, he used you like a roll of toilet paper coming through that uh, through Camel Strait. 
Thanks, Looks man. Like. Uh, <laughs> I got another one mm. coming up. Yeah, I got some, that really does wonders for my self worth. <laughs> okay, left side. Left. No, he's backing out of it. Smart guy. Stay left. Stay left. He's there. Cool. Yeah, I got him. I just didn't have anywhere else to go. Yeah, no, he recognized that early, so good on him. No, 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 no! Damn it! Did the same thing that happened to you. Yeah. Shit. All right. God, it just did this lazy. Just okay, step gentle, out. Gentle, 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 gentle. You're clear. You're clear. Come back out on the road. Okay, you do have another car coming up, another GT3 car, so you've got space if you can get up to speed. That was just fucking weird. Blue flag. Yeah, so the car behind you is the P14 car. Um, he's a lap ahead of us, so he's of no consequence to us. We can let him by if he catches you. Get the way this race is going. He's doing gonna... two, he's doing two twenty threes right now, so okay. almost two twenty fours. So he's... well, the way this is going, I'll I'll consider it a small victory if we bring the car home without getting DQ'd. Yeah, we got God. twenty points on that. Did you almost lose it again? Yeah, the rear end just wants to go. Yeah, that was what I was I mean, fighting. Like I said, break a little earlier. But you know. Going through Blanchemont, usually you can keep it flat. Yeah, typically. But if you coming into it, just break just a hair earlier, it slows you down through the entire uh, segment of turns. LMP2 car on your six. He's going to take your left side, left side, so he is clear. Yeah, um... Yeah, if you're a little slower coming into it, it slows you down through the whole turn and not, you, you get a little stickier. And it doesn't have to be a lot. It could be like, you know, 25 feet and it makes all the difference. All right, I'll try that. That's my favorite set of turns on this track. It's been making me angry all day that I haven't felt like I've hit it very right. Yeah, it sucks when you don't trust the car. Yeah, yeah, I've had no confidence in the car all day long, which is weird because in practice, I was, I mean, I did over like 230 laps of practice coming into this, so. Good. Well, the thing about the GT3R is I feel it's so predictable that I, you know, I feel comfortable throwing this car around normally because I know how to deal with it. Yeah, this but, is the first track that I felt it just did not work for me. I, I've loved this car on every other track, but this track, just no love. I mean, I feel it just, I'm not comfortable. Daytona, man, I felt like I was in the zone. I just felt the car was under me the whole time and just felt really good. And yeah, you were fast at Daytona. But I haven't. I, it's even when I started practicing, I didn't feel comfortable. I got there, but then came here, I just didn't have it. And I wonder if there is something to that whole uh, what Volker was telling us about the server timing is that it's just enough off that it throws your entire laps off. Could be. Up. There's a car exit in the pits. Okay, the P17 car is 9.6 seconds Pro ahead of you. You like look like you're making time on him. There's an incident in Radion. We think it might be James. I think I just ran my fastest lap, abysmal though it was. 221.8? Yeah, it's pretty sad. 10 seconds. At this point, it is what it is, man. Got about 40, 46 minutes, 40, 47 minutes left of the race. We'll call it 50 minutes just to be well for that last lap.
Car behind's at a faster class. LMP2 about three seconds back. It's a P8 car in their class. Blue flag. And he's eating up daylight. He's going to pick the left side. Taking your digging you know. That was That was a dumb move. If I wouldn't have seen him, I would have turned in on him and taken us both out. Yeah, that was impatient. It just seems so much more prudent to wait a beat and take the person on the exit, come out on the inside on the exit. That just seems sane to me. Blue flag. Yeah, you would think. Man, the car is okay, loose. Okay, two on your left side, left side, left side. Okay, Chip, there's a faster car approaching. Okay, you're going to have another one that's probably going to be on you, Bio Rouge. And actually, it looks like there are two of them racing one another. Oh, they're actually not racing one another. One is a P2 car, one's a P16 car. I think they didn't burn up the daylight as uh, fast as I thought, but he's coming on you hard now. Faster cars behind. Blue flag. Okay, he's going to take the right... No, he's staying behind you. He's on your inside. You're looking on the right side. Wow. He's still there. Now he's on the left. He's taking the left. Let them both by. The next car is James. Nicely done. Nicely done. Didn't have a lot of choices there. No, they weren't Not giving you any one. choices. Yeah, they weren't giving you many. Damn it! Blue flag. Okay, another LMP2. It's looking to your right side is what he's looking like. There he is. Second James. one. Second one on your right. On your right. On your right. Seconds. Still there. Still there. Still there. You're clear. Yeah. Or she wouldn't hesitate. I was le leaving him the door open. Yeah. He he wanted to make his braking zone. He wasn't confident that he wasn't going to run wide. So really, despite the hesitation and costing you, it was prudent on his part to do that. Otherwise, he might have hit us. Yeah. Because at that speed, he loses the downforce. Incident in the chicane. Okay, P17 is only 11.8 seconds up the road from us. He His last lap was a 225. That was mine, because of all that traffic. Yeah, I should have waited for your time to come in before I said that in such a derogatory tone of voice. I apologize. All right. <laughs> I know. I know when I'm disappointing you, Chip. <laughs> you don't. You don't have to feign it with fake praise. I'm like, oh my god, a 225. How can you do that? Oh, sorry, Rob. <laughs> yeah, in front of you really sucks. <laughs> Yeah, you were two tenths slower than he was on that lap. Uh, Brian, who can I buy a vowel um, a last name? Is uh, yeah, he's he's doing two nineteens right now, but he's still he's ninety three seconds behind us. Blue flag. Okay, LMP two car. Pretty pretty paint scheme on this one. Is this the Kraft Mac and Roni and Cheese car? It is. I'll be darned. Okay, he's taking your left side, left side. Oh, very nice. Very tasteful. Makes me hungry for lunch. Blue 
the gap to James. Ahead is now 12 seconds. And you get that section right there, right? It just feels so good. Yeah, I haven't had that feel good for a long time. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'm kind of rethinking our idea of running the Spa 24. I don't know if I'm up for that kind of torture, unless well, I, we get a better handle on the car. I think that a, a good 70% of my torture here has been uh, the multi-class traffic and uh, the uh, Spa 24 is GT3 only. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that, well, that's probably a good point. I mean, really, we've we've actually held our own in at least the packs that we've been running in. Except for the, yeah. the aliens at the very front of the pack. Yeah, fuck those guys. Yeah. Okay, Jet, there's a faster class car approaching. And I think I could actually do some damage on this track in the night. Well, I heard here you do your best work at night. Isn't That's, that how you put yourself through college? That, yeah, exactly. Well, it was you that got the nickname Bus Stop, so I don't know if we want to talk about that. Yeah, I think your nickname's probably Street Corner. <laughs> <laughs> Back alley. <laughs> By the dumpster. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, back alley. There's a group of faster cars behind. Your back alley dumpster. Blue flag. Okay, LMP2 car just cleared the GT3 traffic behind you. And just take them your left side. Left side, left side. You're Chris. clear. Oh. Got another one behind you. Nick Kuhn. And he's also going to take your left side, left James. side, left side. Ahead is now 11 seconds. Blue flag. Oh shit, I'm in the marbles again. God damn it. Shit. Oh. God, it just keeps sliding. Yeah. Am I clear? You're, yeah, you're clear for a little bit. You've got another car coming. Good, good, good. It just kept sliding. I was on the brakes and it just kept going. Yeah, I know. You've got a car coming. Watch your approaching. entry. Okay, you're clear. God damn it. Well, that only cost you a 1x. And half an hour. <laughs> yeah, well. So it looks like uh, David James is now 28 seconds ahead of us again. Yeah, I think the only car we're going to finish ahead of is the pace car. Okay, LMP2 right behind you. He's looking to your right. You're clear. Another one coming. Blue flag. Coming, coming, coming. Left side. Boy, well, the rear end is not happy on this car. Well, you know, fast repairs don't return the car to a pristine state. Blue it's, flag. Uh, it's 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 weird. It like it has different handling characteristics after even a fast repair. Another LMP2 car on your six. Yeah, got right side. P17. <clears throat> There's an incident in Eau Rouge. It looks like it's Rodriguez. The record. This has been the longest fucking three hours I think we've ever raced. I know, man. It seems like it's taken forever in a day. Well, when it when it becomes a chore, stop. It stops being fun. Becomes a chore. It's a kind of a. It's longer. Yeah, we are in P sixteen though. Which is nice to know that there are other fuck ups in the world. Okay, Jeff. <laughs> right. Approaching. It's that class leader. It's like as bad of a day as we're having, there are people that are having worse days, so... Okay, another LMP2 coming up on you. He's a second and a half back and closing. He's looking inside. 
And there you go. Got another one uh, coming up behind you. James Stacy. He's waiting, looking to your right, looking to your left, looking to your left. Gonna take you on the left. Having to really compromise my that whole set of corners to let those guys by. Yeah. Lost about a second. Yeah, I, I'm amazed at these guys that can still turn two seventeens dealing with traffic. I, I I don't I don't have that racecraft in me yet. Yeah, I feel pretty inadequate <laughs> at the moment. Incident in the chicane. All right, Chip. It's the faster class car approaching. You know, I'm no slouch. Oh, that's not true. You're a heck of a slouch. <laughs> Got an LMP2 car just clearing the chicane, so he's probably going to be on you by Eau Rouge. Blue flag. Alex Call was black flagged again. Left side. He must be uh, being impatient with others. Well, let's face it, if you were 7K out here with all us slow fucks, I can't imagine that it's a fun day for him. Yeah, well, if he's 7K, then he doesn't have to push hard because he knows he can kill us anyway. Yeah. Part of being a 7K driver is you don't drive like a douche, in my mind, at least theoretically speaking. I actually, I, I've watched some of the, the high, uh, higher splits, you know, where you have the 7, 8K drivers and stuff, and they're actually nuts. I mean, they'll put it in spaces that there's no space to put in and, you know, try to make it work. It's, it's they're kind of crazy. They hey. get their I-rating on volume volume of races run and you know making a bet that works and getting them in front of a bunch of other cars to get that i rating but they just drive like like in a course of a day you know like you and i will race maybe one two maybe three at most in a single day uh, these guys they every like hour or so that they have an opportunity to get into a session they'll get into one and they'll do that oh. for an entire day or two or every day okay lmp2 on your left yep and so it's a volumes game for those guys. That's why they have the higher I rating. It pays off sometimes. It's like a slot machine, right? You put money in the slot machine and you know, if you play it often enough, you'll come out ahead, but it takes you a while. I found that uh, once I got up to the uh, the 2K drivers that were in the same splits as I was, that that's when things turned really bad. I started losing I rating quickly because the guys were just nuts. They weren't given any room. Yeah. Kamikaze into corners, you know, dive bombing. Okay, Chip, there's a faster car approaching. I lost 300 I rating in two races. Yeah, it doesn't take much for that to happen. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, the LMP2 that's eating up your tail right now is on his outlap. He's just exited the pits. Faster cars approaching. She's taking the left side. And the LMP2s behind you just got into each other. That was yeah, I great. I saw that. Yeah. And it looks like there's some anger, animosity involved. Left side, left side, let them both go, let them both go. You're clear. Nicely handled. 
Didn't want you getting caught up in uh, that guy retaliating. <laughs> so yeah, that's what it looked like was going to happen. That uh, P-17 car was going to going to do something bad. Okay, Flavio Saturnino is the P-1 car in our class. He just was passed by an LMP-2 car, so you'll see the LMP-2 car first. So we're about ready to go another lap down. Yellow flag, there's an incident in the chicane. Okay, he's going to go left side, left side, left side. Oh, yep, still left side. Take it, boys. I'm giving you the lane. Go, 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 go. Hurry up. Fuck. Sector 3 is 2.0. Off the pace. There's an incident in Eau Rouge. Yeah, so the guys in P1 are a 5K driver and a 4.6K driver. Amateurs, huh? I know, yeah. Well, we're, we're the gentleman drivers, though. You know, I mean, at least we're the, of the age of people who are supposed to act like gentlemen. Right. <laughs> Our front splitter looks like it has some chips out of it. Past the class car approaching. Did you touch anything in any of your spins? No, but remember we had that Zero X nose contact? Yeah, but not since the, not since the, uh, uh, repair. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, the fast repair. I don't know. It might have, I might have dragged it on the curb during one of oh, my lazy spins. Yeah, I think coming off, I remember it now. Yeah, 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 that's what happened. Okay, LMP2, uh, right behind you. He's going to take you on the left. Smart, smart play on his part. John Taylor Tammy, we like him. He's he's a good driver. Nice alliteration to the name too. Yeah, it's fun to say. John Taylor Tammy. Or maybe it's Tommy. I don't know. T A M I. Don't know how to pronounce that. Well, if we're deal if Radiana's Radilian then T-A-M-I is Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. The early rise this morning is starting to catch up to me a little bit, I think. Yeah, I, I feel a nap coming on in the future. Yeah. Not until you're out of the car, please. Okay, we're back up to 16th. Oh shit, 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 shit. God damn it, mother frickin' frackin'. You're clear. Okay, Chip. Okay, fast, fast car, 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 right approaching. side, right side, right side. There you go. Clear. Again, I'm hugging the... Another one. Right side. What does the car look like? Steering huh. feels loose. Yeah, your right side, you definitely had a right side impact. It's uh, looking pretty, uh, not horrible, but not insignificant either. Gosh, damn it. Sorry about that. I just, this race has just been a shit show. Yeah. It's, a, it's hard holding on to this car. We do have some uh, rear spoiler damage, too. Not much, but a little bit of a crinkle. So nervous around these sweeping fast corners because the rear end just feels so twitchy to me. 
have no confidence in the car or myself, apparently. So the thing that was like blowing my mind is I was trying different setups to see if I could find something that was a little bit more stable and steady. The medium downforce setup was twitchier than this one. Really? Yeah, and I, I can't explain that. That makes no sense to me at all. There's a faster car approaching. I mean, I was faster in the low downforce setup for sure, but the medium downforce setup I thought would be a little bit stickier and feel a little bit more comfortable, and it did not. Blue flag. Okay, LMP2 cars coming on. Okay, left side. Blue flag. Okay, we got the P9 and 10 car and the P2 car in our class, all in our class right behind you now. Okay. So 9 and 10 are racing for position. P2 is kind of hanging back, seeing what's up. Watching this sorry ass dipshit in front. Try to keep from not wrecking the whole fucking field. It's okay, man. Mama said there would be days like this. I didn't like all the stuff Mama said. Kind of pissed me off. Okay, right <laughs> side. He's going to take you here. And uh, P10 is right behind them. Okay, he's going to take you on the right side. Right side. And P2 is coming too. Right side, right side. I'm just staying out of the way. Yep. This is now a test session. But a test of what is the question? A test of my dogged determination to continue even though it's completely hopeless <laughs> and a waste of time. And who am I fooling anybody? Maybe I should take up chess. <laughs> okay, you got another LMP2. Two, two, two seconds back. Blue flag. Here he comes. Here's Johnny. That's not his name. And wow, right side. He almost rear ended you. Chuck Chrissy. Here comes Johnny with his pecker in his hand. He's a one ball man and he's off to the rodeo. <laughs> Another LMP2 behind you here. Left side. I feel like I have to tiptoe. Oh, big crash, big crash, big crash. I think one of the LMP2 cars tagged him because he, he suddenly lurched like. He didn't look like he lost it on his own. He looked like he had some additional uh, help. help. Yeah. <laughs> Getting off the track. It'll be interesting to see how many IRRs are issued for that kind of stuff. Yeah, I, I'm I'm actually I'm not inclined to file any IRRs. We haven't been entangled with any GT three cars. It's all been L M P two cars. Where were you tagged by a GT three car? Okay, Chip. There's a faster car. No, I just had the dipshit brake check me and then I got hit by the guy behind me. But I don't really blame the guy behind me because the guy who stopped in the middle of the fucking corner was an idiot. And really, that's not IRRable. B16. In okay, you sound like you shit yourself there in the middle of that corner. <laughs> I just had a little belch. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just check it. <laughs> I was like, wow, that, that doesn't sound good. Okay, LMP2 behind you is yep, going yep. to patiently wait and take you on the right side, right side. Yeah, if you hear me say something like, uh-oh, that's going to stink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I won't be able to keep those pants. Those are ruined. <laughs> I'm curious to know what uh, what teeth a stern warning comes with. I know, stern warning. 
I'm going to sternly warn you, and if you do it again, I'm going to sternly warn you again. And I'm going to aggressively sternly warn you. And then emphatically sternly warn you. You think it might be Rodriguez? Followed by the, no, I'm serious this time. You do that one more time, and I'm going to yell at you again. Warning. Exactly, exactly. Blue flag. Okay, LMP2 eating you up really quick. Right side, right side, right side, right side. Oh, he's backing out. Oh, he's staying there. Cool. What a gentleman. Blue flag. Ah, uh, what a nice boy. <laughs> Another LMP2. Right side. Don't stop right in front of me, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's the uh, They lose all their downforce, so they have less mechanical grip than we do, so they slow a lot harder. Another LMP2, right side. And yet another coming up, coming up. He's waiting. Right, no, left side, left side. That's good, because it's. you might as well be watching the roulette wheel, because I have no idea where I'm going to come out. Oh, the LMP2 car in front just went off in the grass and I almost did a tank slapper into the wall. Nice. I don't know if he fell asleep or spilled his beer or what. He <laughs> hit a bump, spilled his beer. I yeah. hate drinking and driving. Yeah. Rode more pants that way. <laughs> Well, I've never driven spa in the early in the in the twilight before. Okay, Chip. Don't think about the lap times. Just hit each and every apex. Twenty minutes remaining. You've got twenty minutes left. <laughs> You'd always tell when Jim gives up on you. So, like, yeah, don't worry about the lap times. Just hit every exit. <laughs> and he's like, I'm going to the bar. Let me know when you're done. <laughs> so funny oh, I had high hopes that we might get something out of this in terms of a decent finish yeah me too been a bit of an exercise in futility yeah but it, it really is hard to be competitive when, when you're not com when the car's not comfortable I mean it's just and it's really unusual, like we were saying. I mean, usually this car is so predictable, and you can you can read the car so well in terms of what what it's given you and how hard you can push it. Yeah. Because I'm not used to that snap over steer. That's that's something that's really rare Ooh, in this yeah, car. Yeah. Got an LMP2 right behind you. Blue flag. He's gonna look to take you here before Eau Rouge, I'm imagining. Yeah, he's giving me the blinkies. Yeah. He's, I think it was Morse code for, I'm going to make this corner for you as hard as I possibly can. <laughs> you look like you're struggling. I'm going to make this difficult on you. <laughs> How's the car feel? I mean, in terms of handling? Uh, it doesn't feel too bad. It just doesn't feel fast. It, And, and it still feels like in the high-speed corners that the that the rear end wants to come around. Okay, you got an LMP2 coming up on your six, and uh, he's taking left side. Well, he's thinking about left side. Now he's going to take the inside. There you go. Wish you would have taken the other side because it fucks up my corner. Yeah. Okay, left side, left side. Incident in the chicane. It looks like it's Rodriguez. Okay, Chip. There's a faster class car approaching. Blue flag. Okay, the P3 car is behind you. Yeah, I got him. And he's got an LMP2 right behind him. I suspect the LMP2 is going to take him before he takes you. Yep, certainly is. There you go, right side. 
I like that paint job. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Incident in who on? It looks like Ford. Well, if you started to get cocky about how good you are at iRacing, this race will knock it down a couple pegs. For sure. I think the next one's at a friendlier track. Where is the next one? I want to say that it's... You're reeling this guy in. The gap's now 13 seconds. Is it Sebring? I don't know. I have to. I have to look. Chip. 15 minutes left, that's 15 minutes. Nail every corner. Let's take whatever chances we can. Jim's been more laps until I, I need to uh, hit. Nine laps. Oh, actually, less than that. It's showing. Uh, I, I thought I heard a five, five lap duel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's showing it's, four, 4.1. Four, yeah, four, four next time by. Behind. Actually, it'll be closer to three next time. By. I'm gonna Looks say like I think four. I think I'll be Looks less like than four. Yeah, it's three. Okay, LMP2 behind you. Right side. Got it. Only 14 minutes of this torture to go. <laughs> oh, next uh, race is at Phillip Island. I like that track. I actually do too. Although it's got some tricky high-speed corners. I prefer it in the uh, the Cup car, the original, the 991 Cup car. Blue flag. Okay, LMP2 car behind you. Looking to right. You're clear. Yeah, Philip I the leader, isn't it? Uh it yeah, like it was. Another LMP2 behind you. And he's looking like he's drinking. Um left side. Um yeah, so Philip Island is on February twentieth, March thirteenth, Le Mans. We like Le Mans. Uh, April 3rd is Sebring. April 24th is Road America. I like all those tracks. I'm not a fan of Road America, and I know that's blasphemy um, to most people, but I just I, I can't find a rhythm on that track. It's a pretty good track for me. But I also used to think I was okay at Spa. <laughs> I know, I remember those words. So, you know... I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, Phillip Island will be interesting because it's a technical track. It's a tough track. It'll definitely uh, be interesting.
Okay, you got two more. The gap in front has increased. It's now about 17 seconds. We are really just going to have to do a splash. Yeah. But it's going to take us like 15 minutes. That'll yeah, be like a four tire change at any other track. Yeah, we're going to lose the P-17 spot. We likely will not lose that, though. We'll probably wind up in P-17. Yeah. We're in P-16 right now. So the P-17 car is 27 seconds behind us. So if we pit, he's going to pass us. So we'll finish P-17. It's getting harder to see my my reference marks, my reference points. Yeah. No, no, God damn it. Fuck. Okay, you're clear right now on track if you get moving. Still clear, still clear. Okay, Chip. Ten minutes to still go. Good? That's ten minutes left. Still good, still good, still good, still good. Keep going, go, 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 go. Yeah, don't Jesus Christ. You yeah, don't turn it around again, that would suck. There's insult and then there's injury. <laughs> I know, man. Well, this car is definitely not uh, not showroom quality at this point. It's not tip-top by any stretch. Yo, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and pick in. Yeah, come, go ahead and come in. Let's do it now. Hurts nothing to just come in and take a breath. Look out for the pit speed limit. Remember to hit your pit limiter. Activate limiter, box in. Oh, I've had my talent limiter on the whole race, I just noticed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, you, you, need, you need to hit that button. And yeah, no wonder I've sucked all day. And remember, he's uh, at the end of this aisle here, not around the corner. 300 feet. Oh yeah, I almost, I almost checked out. Feet. <laughs> Like, squirrel. <laughs> ah, <fuck> me. <sighs> this just sucks, man. This has uh, been one of the more painful races I've participated in. Is it filling you all the way up? Yeah, I'm going. Uh... Did you crew chief me for a full load? Because it's trying to... Yeah, I, I think uh, it was set that way and I didn't catch it. I'm sorry. It's changing tires too. Fuck me. That's all well, on me. I'm sorry. It's just the it's just the way today's gone. Yeah, I, I, I'm so used to crew chief taking care of that for us. On the last stop. Well, when people say that they they're looking forward to a spa day, we can we can all you and me know that that me has a whole different connotation. For sure. God damn it. Yeah, you've got uh, twenty five percent tire left, uh, so you should be able to be good for a couple of laps here. We're still we're P seventeen. We're not going to lose that spot. So we've got a whole lap on this guy that's behind us. So. There's a car behind. Take care. Rejoin him. Oh, this this will be our race to forget. <laughs> yeah, that was all me. I I I stopped paying attention to the stuff I needed to do for the pit. Well, 
because I because I just uh, I I never have my my tires are always on set, and I always let the crew chief yeah. kind of handle the last stop. And it sounds like uh, <laughs> your settings are different than mine. Yeah, I don't know what. You know, you can change that in your app that I and I file, right? To actually tell it to not uh, default to turn changing tires, which is actually yeah, heard, that's I've the best. Tell. That's that's the best thing to do uh, for the races that we typically run in uh, PCA sim racing is to just not have it change your tires because you never need to change tires in a one stop race. Not when it's you know so few laps left. Yeah. But at the end of the day, we could, you know, claim that we meant to do that because it really didn't cost us anything that we didn't, we weren't going to lose anyway, so. Wanted the car to look good when we crossed the finish line. Right. 14 laps behind everyone else. <laughs> uh, it's been a rough day at the office. <laughs> it really has. The car and track combo hasn't been great, and we've just both struggled. Yeah. I hope the factory still retains us as drivers. I don't want to have to go back to my day gig. This is a challenging little bugger to drive at night, I'll tell you that. Yeah, well, if it was easy, everybody would okay, do it. Chip. Five minutes to go, five minutes left. Nice and smooth. Don't overdrive the car. B17. I did a 354 on that last lap. I'm going to try and top that this time. <laughs> you do that. <laughs> you could damn near half that, I think. Blue flag. Maybe the stern warning's like a yellow card, and, and once left, you get two, side, two of them, you're side. done. Maybe. Blue flag. Yeah, the car's jacked up. I'm only hitting 154 down the, down the straight. Oh, wow, that's like seven miles off. Seven miles an hour yeah. off. Yeah. This poor car's beat to shit. I'm driving like garbage. We're still up three positions from where we started, so there's that. It's nice to know we don't suck the most. There's an incident in. Who on? Okay, the P15 car behind you is looking awfully racy. Don't let him dump you. It's a class uh, C driver, it looks like. With 2.3K. License up, man. Have some self-respect. He's got a bent okay, rear wing himself. Okay, left side. Dude in front of me almost wrecked. There's a group of faster cars behind. Should get the white flag next time by. God, I hope so. Handling like an F-150. Of course, if I wouldn't have 
bounced it down a few of the guardrails, that probably would have helped. Sector 1 is 2.2, yeah. off the pace. This car is, makes for a really expensive lawnmower. There's a group of faster cars behind, blue flag. Left side. Blue flag. Okay. Got an LMP2 coming up on you quick. Gonna take you on the right side. Right side, clear. And the guy behind you right now is a uh, GT3 car and P3. You can do with him what you want. He's not eating you up so fast that it's a concern, but he's there. Be kind of funny to ruin their day, though. I don't want to be that guy. Okay, he's going to take it on the right. It uh, almost wrecked him. <laughs> yeah, I know. I put that in your subconscious, I'm sure. Well, I touched the grass and yeah. rear end uh, got a little twitchy. Oh, sweet Jesus, one lap to go. <laughs> White flag, one more to go. <laughs> Sector 3 is 3.4 seconds off the pace. Let's make the pain stop. Uh, yes, yes, yes. So we got two laps on the car behind us, and we're one lap behind the car in front of us, so... So you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> yeah, we, we hit a nice little sweet spot of, <laughs> like, you know, we can't fuck it up any more than we've already fucked it up. Yeah. And it wasn't for lack of trying, that's I, for sure. I know. We have given us the old college try. We have gone out of our way to do everything Sector wrong in this race. Seconds off the pace. Hmm. Car behind a faster class. Looks like well, if you uh, do end up posting this video, make sure you have some, you know, slapstick music in the background when we're having our various cool. offs and spins. <laughs> yeah. Someone's wrecked or... Oh. Looks like... Uh, Pai, is, uh, Pai is and his team uh, got a podium. They got I'm third. Good. There's a group of faster cars behind. You know the talent's good when Chris Pies is taking third. Okay, right side. Just two minutes left. Two minutes to go. Ah, uh, there's Pies. He just went by. Yeah. And left side. Yeah, I should be driving down this with my left turn signal on. <laughs> Swears the beef. Incident in Los Angeles. Hey, where did like you say the break point areas. was? <laughs> oh. Holy Jehoshaphat. P17. That's it. We're done. So to say that was a fun race would probably be a, a pretty big stretch. Um, Rob and I came into this with uh, probably somewhat arrogant expectations uh, or unrealistic ones anyway. Um, we really thought that based on our Daytona, Daytona performance, uh, getting a P11 at Daytona, that we could fight for a P10 or at least be in the top 15. And at the end of the day, we managed 17th in class um, and... Uh, 34th overall rough race um a lot of mistakes um by both of us 
and uh, got hit a few times, so got caught with other people's mistakes. It wasn't an ideal race by any stretch. Um, all total, um, we wound up with uh, 39 incident points split between two of us. Um, I carried the bulk, lion's share of that with 23. He had 16. Um, we both struggled with pace, um, could not find speed in the car. Um, so it was, it was a, it was a long, long three hours. Good news is it's over now. Um, it's in the books and, uh, we'll, uh, we'll learn what we can from it and, uh, and move on. Um, Phillip Island, um, is the next race in uh, two weeks. So we got some time to prep and, uh, get our heads right and, uh, get ready to work for that one. So we'll be back. Thanks for watching. If you like this, go ahead and click on like. Um, and if you aren't already a subscriber, go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you get notified of uh, releases when I do new videos. Appreciate your time and uh, have a great day. Bye now. Spaß machen Rennsport.